Hey everyone, this is Matt with Bell of Lost Souls, and today we are taking a look at Project Elite by Simon. It is a one to six player game, it takes about an hour to play, and players will be taking the role of hardened soldiers going out on various missions. The game comes with a handful of different scenarios, each with their own setup and scenario victory conditions, but ultimately, the objective is survive. There's hordes of aliens which will be attempting to swarm over the players and, and gobble them up, I suppose. Uh, so the main draw of the game is the real-time aspect of it. Each turn, players only have two minutes to do everything that they're going to attempt to do in that turn, but there's no guarantee that they'll be able to do whatever they want in that turn. And you will perform these various actions by rolling these dice. Each one of these die symbols is allocated to your items and your special abilities and whatever weapons to be able to activate them. So anytime you want to, for example, shoot a gun, you have to roll one of the gun symbols allocated to that die or to that item then you are ready to shoot. So that's a really interesting and fun sort of mechanic because any time you roll one of these symbols, the aliens get to move closer to you. So you can't just be throwing out dice like crazy because the more you do that, the more you will uh, have the opportunity to do stuff, but the more that the aliens will be encroaching upon you. So. It's a very interesting and cool and eloquent uh, risk and reward of you could grab a handful of dice and just throw them all, hoping to grab all the symbols you need, or you can just roll one at a time to try to get that one. Because if you roll a bunch, you're saving a lot of time, which you have very limited amount of, but you're gonna roll a bunch of the alien movement symbols. So it's a just a very, simple, eloquent system that I, I really enjoyed. Um, and the aliens you're going to be fighting are, are, you got your basic aliens, your runners, shooters, and biters, but then you also have boss aliens, which are just powerful, elite, and, and the name boss alien might suggest that they come at the end, but they can show up whenever, and they're strong and powerful, and they also have their own unique abilities. For example, the Gut Slug here can spawn more aliens as it moves across the map. So they are a high priority target because there's nothing preventing multiple boss aliens from uh, appearing and, and roaming around and doing whatever they do. So it's, it's a really chaotic game. It's very high energy. Uh, only having two minutes to do everything you want really brings that level of excitement that you just can't get with other strategy games. You know, you have Gloomhaven, Pandemic, whatever, where you get to sit and think and plan your turn. That's not what this game is trying to be. This game is embodying that chaos of battle and really does a fantastic job of bringing it to the table with that high energy that you do. It would be impossible otherwise. So it's, uh, I, it's difficult, I'll say that. I uh, had my first playthrough. I did very poorly. I'm hoping I will do better in my next run. And I am gonna play again, definitely, because uh, like I said, I had a fantastic time playing. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go check out Project Elite by Simon Games. It is out now. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. And I'm upset I didn't have more people to play with because I think more people would make more chaos, which I think is very, very enjoyable. So that's it for today. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Click to subscribe.
Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.